Since this month is National Child Abuse Prevention Month, I thought it wouldn't be abusive to share some concerning information about this most important and concerning problem that still exists in our communities. Child abuse occurs when a parent or other adult causes serious physical, sexual, or emotional harm to a child or neglects or abandons a child. More than one million children are abused every year in this country, and these are only the reported incidents. Sadly, most children know their abusers, and the abuse usually occurs in the home, thus making it tough for children to speak up. It can also occur to infants by shaking them, resulting in cases of brain damage or even death. So, who is at risk for abusing a child? Unfortunately, there is no classic description, and abusers come from all walks of life. They can even sadly be parents, other family members, family friends, teachers, or coaches. Often the abuser has been abused as a child themselves. While anyone with access to a child can mistreat a child, fortunately the vast majority of people don't. So how can you suspect abuse may be ongoing? Certainly, bruises that keep occurring or keep coming back on a child can be a sign, as can the reporting recurrent abdominal pain or headaches with no clear cause, but so can a child who becomes withdrawn, fearful, sad, or develops low self-esteem or starts to bully others in response to their being bullied by adults. A child who has nightmares or trouble sleeping or becomes disruptive and acts out in class or drops their grades when they didn't do that before should raise concerns. While these signs might mean other things, you need to at least consider abuse as a possibility. If you suspect a child you know is being abused, you need to take action to further protect that child. Anyone can call the Vermont or New York Department of Children and Families 24 hours a day and report your concerns. If you're a child who is being physically or emotionally hurt or harmed in a way that frightens you, talk to someone you can trust, whether that's a parent, relative, teacher, or family friend. If you feel you may want to abuse your child or have, place the child with a friend or relative where they're safe and speak to a trained professional accessible by calling 1-800-CHILDREN. You can call this number if you feel threatened as well. The earlier abuse can be suspected and stopped, the less destructive it will be, so that hopefully tips like these will not hurt at all when it comes to knowing more about your role in reporting suspected child abuse. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids. <music>